The unseen impact of Talisman Save is being closely monitored by a special group of environmental protectors. Every vehicle going in and out of the pristine area is scrutinised after being thoroughly cleaned. It's a revolving door at the Rockhampton Barracks. Hundreds of vehicles and machinery pass through the gates at all hours. A team of soldiers is tasked with monitoring all movement. A few of them go and man the gate. Some may receive aircraft out at Williamson. Uh, some will be working with the terminal operators to unload freight that's arrived. A close eye is kept on those travelling up towards Shoalwater Bay. If I can get you just to drive around the loading ramp, head back out to the main road and head up to the wash point. This is a key facility for the Australian Army. It's called weeding and seeding. Every vehicle that enters Shoalwater Bay training area has to be weeded and seeded. That is, if it's coming, they come from all parts of Australia, but mainly from uh, up north. A high pressure hose cleans the vehicles thoroughly to prevent the spread of exotic pests. And that's one of the key environmental risks for an area as pristine as Shoalwater Bay. It is those invasive weed species, if they get a hold, then parts of the environment within Shoalwater Bay can be compromised. It operates 24-7 for the duration of the exercise. I've seen semi-trailers come through with our Abram tanks on board to our light commercial vehicles through to our heavy repair equipment. The Army says its aim is to leave no footprint and rehabilitate any damage. Ellie Sibson, Wind News.